you. We are seeing above average rainfall this month all across Middle Tennessee. That rain, of course, causing flooding. We have team coverage of that tonight. Eric Hilt is in Dixon County, where the cost to repair some of the damage will be more than the 2010 floods. First, though, News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs is in downtown Nashville near the Cumberland River, which is still high right now, Kelsey. That's exactly right, Carrie. The Cumberland River has already risen out of its banks today, but from Wilson to Rutherford and in between, there was just flash flooding everywhere. Rain came pouring into Middle Tennessee early Tuesday morning, dumping water in Brentwood, Mill Creek, and across the roads in Murfreesboro. This is worse. I've seen it about the last year. Nashville has seen historic rainfall this month. The Cumberland River is just a few feet away from flood stage. Flash flooding in Wilson and Williamson County stalled many cars, while folks in the nations are looking for ways to keep the water out of their homes. From this alleyway, or the space in between the homes, is where I'm getting uh, a lot of flood water coming from. Jacob Nance says he has resorted to using bags of dirt and sandbags to keep the flood water from creeping inside his home. This morning, I was basically like out here watching my house get flooded again. The rain may have tapered off tonight, but many roads across the state are still closed and more rain is scheduled in the forecast this week. The water may go down a little bit. Just use caution. Now, like Bree said, we could see some more rain tomorrow well into the weekend. But again, several of the count, several of the roads here in Davidson County are closed. And for a list of those, just head over to our website at newschannel5.com or the app. But for now, we are reporting live at Cumberland River. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.